Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchellark. I've spent a good portion of my life on pistol ranges, and one thing I noticed early on is you gotta have a good staple guard. So the thought to me came over to, to the fact that maybe I'd want a staple gun and also maybe something I could use for defense. So I tried to come up with something I could use really quick on the range. And what I've done here, guys, I've got a really fast stapler. So if you got a lot of targets down range, you gotta get the stage up. Two on each, two seconds. There you have it, guys, from the hip. We've got three targets, two from the hip, right around two and a half seconds. So yeah, guys, that was Jerry Mitchellack, and he is using his stable gun, not a nail gun. But yeah, sorry for this poor introduction. <laughs> Let's get on with the video. What's up, everybody? Here I have my rigid nail gun, or airsoft gun, whatever. It's just going to terrorize whoever I play with. What? I think I'm going to shoot them with actual nails. Yeah, this is rigid nail gun. And it uh, uses a Polar Star Jack. And yes, I'm aware of other people doing the, uh, the or actually not other people, there's another guy, I'll put, I'll annotate it in, you know, on the video right here. And his is a completely, you know, mechanical build. You know, it means no full auto or anything. It's just completely mechanical. So this is an electric pneumatic build. So it uses an electric solenoid to fire a, the air. And, uh, and, you know, it's a Polar Star Jack. So, and I think it's plugged in. So, yeah, it's plugged in. There you go. So, oh yeah, that's the back. This is a Kydex door latch or whatever, and I made it to where it just clicks right in and stays, holds all the the electronics. So yeah, so I'm gonna air it up, and I wanted to use a lot of like original nail gun parts components. So this is the old nail holder. I actually even put nails in there, and I glued them in place, and they're not gonna fall out. They might get dented if they get shot, but that's it's whatever. And uh, I use the original base plate, the original trigger. I have a trigger extension there going to the original trigger. And this is like a, I think a nail depth adjustment wheel. And that's pretty close to being in the same spot. I think it was like further up here. And when you turn that wheel, it adjusts the the, the nail guard or the nozzle, the, the, I guess the barrel or nozzle guard here that went back and forward. So I was able to retain and keep a lot of the original parts. And the only thing is having a seven inch barrel sticking out the front. But other than that, it still looks like a nail gun. And when I wear the construction load out, uh, it'll still look like I'm working on the field, you know, nailing this together. But yeah, that's pretty much it on the back. I have the a switch for the tracer unit and the magazines that I use are Echo One Gap magazines. So these hold a hundred rounds and they don't look like Gap magazines anymore because I cut the metal body off and uh, I had just kept the, kept the tip. <laughs> Just, just the, the tips. tips the the metal mag that way you can it still has a retaining clip there and that goes right up there and you're ready to go so and i have a quick re uh, release right here you push this get your mag out so yeah so noticeable the uh, notable differences of this and and a, a mechanical build is this is you know again electric you can do this, or you can grab the trigger like this, and shake that as well. And then also, another notable difference is this is full auto. So I was going to make a full auto switch, selector switch on the side, 
but I decided not to because if I can use full auto, I'm gonna keep it on full auto the whole time. But if I can't use full auto, full auto I'm just gonna keep it on semi. So anyways, so I can full auto it. <laughs> like, oh my god, I, I love I love electric pneumatic and being able to, to, to do things and. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the nail gun. And sorry I haven't gotten any gameplay for it yet. I'm waiting for Scott, US Airsoft Scott, uh, my boy, to come out here and we can go play at Techstar and do a quick video promoting that field too. It's very important to promote your local fields. We got high ground, we got lone. Uh. We kind of have lone star. I don't know what's going on with them. This is too hot to play outside, I guess, and hopefully more people come out. We got tanks, which I plan on playing with this at tanks. They have a night game in November, the first week of November, the first weekend of November, I think. So that night game is gonna be pretty sweet. So <laughs> I'm gonna be using tracer BBs all the whole time. And we got uh, Techstar, which is in the West Oaks Mall, and uh, that place is pretty cool, really cool. It's a, you know, uh, close quarters field so yeah this i'm gonna have i'm gonna ask one of my friends sam to play at this because he's a lot better at that at paintball and he would play tournament paintball so he was pr an actual professional paintball you know tournament guy so yeah he can you saw him in my glow in the dark or night or was it Black light video on my Instagram. Right. Oh, man. Subscribe. <laughs> he was the guy, you know, walking it, and uh, that guy can shoot really fast and consistent. It's like when I shoot, I'll, I'll stutter. Like that or it, it just, it's just not as fast as him. This is a consistent stream of firing. But yeah. I uh, plan on doing a video there. And other than that, that's pretty much it about the nail gun, guys. Uh, Got to do gameplay. And I can't decide if I want to sell it or keep it. So, I don't know. I don't know if I want to sell it. Because I got a guy that wants to buy it. But I'm not sure if I want to sell it to him or not. So, but yeah. Well, I might keep it though. I, I don't know. It's it, You don't see this around. And this is freaking cool. So... This is, oh man. Anyways. Alright guys. Thanks for uh, for watching and staying tuned. Uh, please get people to subscribe. I want to do this more. And I want to build more crazy guns. And please uh, turn that bell icon on to check out my videos. And I'll try to upload more. And of course if I get more subscribers, I'm definitely going to upload more and more. So yeah. Alright guys. Peace out.